Okay, so this is a video on how to take a scan using the Canon printer. Uh, so first things first, the printer is on. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take a document, like the one that I have here, and we're just going to put it in the printer. And I only have one hand, so you just place it like so, and then you close the lid and that's when you come down and you do your work on the computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the start menu and you pick control panel and you're going to go to devices and printers click on that and this is the printer that we're using so we double click that Okay. so then you're going to go to scan photos or documents and this window is going to come up and you can preview it first Okay, so that's going to just scan the document and you're going to see what it's going to look like. That's just going to take a minute. Okay, so it's important that when you scan your document, you do not select preview or scan separate files. You'll notice when I click that, now you can see the entire document instead of just the small portion because it's just picking up the text. Okay, so then you're going to hit the scan. And again, that's just going to take a minute to scan the document. Okay, once it's done scanning, you're going to get this little message in the corner here. Uh, this is just if you want to rename it or tag it, tag the folder. For me, you can just hit the import button. Okay. You can close this because we're going to find it in a different window now. Okay, so you can get out of this program as well. Now you're going to go to your folder. Um, it's in pictures and it's going to be in a folder called MPX Navigator. So you're just going to go down and find that. And there it is. So it's going to be the date that you scanned. Okay, so you can, and I'll open it up, you can see there's the document in the PDF form. So you can, again, okay, let's go back, to, let me do that one more time for you. Folders, go to pictures, find your MPX navigator folder right here. So this is today's date. We know this is going to be the file that we're looking for. So you can rename this file. Okay, so let's call it school. So here it is now. And then you can also rename this file. Uh, again, that's right clicking and you go down to rename and you call it uh, assignment. And that's it, then you're done.